Hi everybody, welcome back to DayZ and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the new community map Takistan Plus on your local DayZ server. This is your server that's running on your local PC or laptop, not one that you're running in the cloud for lots of other people to play on. This uh, really is uh, an amazing, an amazing piece of work. So let's um, come out of here first. And then we can get cracking because it's uh, pretty easy to do. Shut down the server. Shut down that. Now, as with most things on Daisy and modding, it starts in the Steam Workshop. So go to Steam, go to the Workshop, go to the Daisy Workshop, and you want to subscribe to Takistan Plus, done by Site Revenge. And I would encourage you. If you play Takistan Plus and you enjoy it and you get some hours of playtime out of it or and you put it on your server for other people to, to play on, make sure you go over and visit his PayPal and drop him a few bucks for the unbelievable amount of hard work that he's put in. Speaking of hard work, you probably want to help Dab as well, the Inclement Dab, but you will need his new Dabs framework. So if you subscribe to that as well, these two mods work together. Also, what you'll want to do before we get started is go over to your library in Steam. Make sure you've got games and tools selected. And just see if the DAISY server needs updating. Um, and if it does, just update it before we get started. So once you've su subscribed to those two mods and you've updated your server, launch the DAISY launcher. And then what that will do is that will then download the latest versions of the mods so you know, you know you've got the right files. Next thing we want to do is we just want to um, find DayZ on our hard drive. Now it will probably be in somewhere like this PC, local D, disk to C, program files 486, Steam, Steam Apps Common, something like that. Um, if you're struggling to find it, if you go into the DayZ launcher and just go to any of the mods, click on the little uh, arrow there, click on the little three dots, click on open folder in Windows Explorer, just agree not to mess around with anything, and that will then open up the directory where the mods are and all you got to do is you go up a couple and that's where daisy is now in this video i'm not going to be showing you how to install a daisy local server i will put a link in the description below the video about how to do it but i'm going to assume you've already got a daisy server and you've got one that works as well <laughs> only start doing this if you know your daisy server is working so fire it up and make sure it works because you don't want to be too, doing too much um problem solving at once Okay, so what we want to do now, go into Daisy, go into the workshop folder, and you want to um, left click Dabs Framework, and then you want to hit Control and um, left click Takistan Plus, right click, copy both of those folders, go up, go into Daisy Server, and right click, paste those. As you can see, I've already done it. So Dabs Framework and Takistan. So they're ready to go inside my DAISY server. Next thing, we want the keys. So go into Dabs Framework, go into the keys folder, right click his key and copy it. Go up, go up, go to the keys folder on your server, right click paste, paste it into there. Go to Takistan Plus, go into the keys folder, right click, copy that key, go up, go up, go into the keys folder on your server, right click paste, and then you have both the keys. So next thing we want to do is we want the missions files. So these are like the the XMLs, the um, the uh, the way that the game controls all the loot that's going to be spawning in. So go inside Takistan Plus, and you'll see mission. So if we go into there, we will see offline .takistan Plus. So you want to right click, copy, go up, go up, go to the MP missions folder in your server, and just paste that in. Now. I'm recording this video on the 1st of August 2021 and so at the moment the missions folders uh, and the mission files are included within the mod. I wouldn't be surprised if at some later date they remove those mission files and keep them somewhere else like on a github or something. I think it's to do with it's maybe it's easier to update it but that does happen. So if the files aren't here anymore go to the steam page where the Takistan Plus mod is and they'll tell you there where to find them. Now while we're here, what we want to do is we just want to left click on offline.takistan plus, wait a second and left click it again, and we want to right click and copy 
all of that name so we've copied that because what we want to do now is we want to tell our server to start with this mission folder and we do that by going into daisy so we're so going to server dz.config so you want to open that up with your favorite text editor i use notepad plus plus and you want to scroll down to the bottom and at the bottom you say template equals and your one probably at the moment will say something like template equals um, quotation marks daisy offline dot generous plus or daisy offline dot enoch or daisy offline dot dear isle or sq or something but you want to paste in the offline dot text plus and you want to save that so that means that when our server starts it will start using those mission files but we also need to change the um, batch file so you will have a batch file at the moment it will be something dot bat um, that I'm not sure what the name is my name is start zombie admin because I use zombie admin tools a lot so whatever your batch file is called so look for Windows batch file and then you want to open that up in notepad plus plus and the format of your file may well be different but what will be the same is there will be a start line and this tells the server what to do when it starts and importantly tells it which mods to load when it starts so we're looking for that argument there so here it says uh, quotation marks dash mod equals now at the moment my one says quotation marks dash mod equals at cf semicolon at zombie admin tools because they're the ones that we normally use and i've added in at dabs framework semicolon at takistan plus it does seem to work in this order quite often mods can be a little bit finicky about which order they load in this seems to work okay now if you're not sure about your spelling to the server uh, folder and then just use that left click once left click again and then copy that name takistan plus and then you can just paste that in so you should have um, exclamation mark dash mod equals at cf semicolon at zombie admin tools if you're running those and then semicolon uh, at dab space framework semicolon at takistan plus and then close uh, quotation marks and then we'd save that and so that's the batch file be it saying right okay so when i start this server daisy server dot, uh, underscore x for x64 exe start it with those mods in that particular order okay so now if we then go back to our server we've put in the uh the mods in the right place we've copied the keys across we've copied the mission folders across we've adjusted the uh, admin tools there's one final thing that they refer to in the readme which is about the sandstorm um, and if you read the readme in the sandstorm it, it directs you to the init.c and it says this piece of code is recommended otherwise the event system is switched on automatically and runs from a default, default values i think what this means is if you leave everything alone the sandstorm will occur every 900 and 2700 seconds i think that would i think that's what it means but play it see what happens and then we can always play around with it if that isn't the case so we've done everything we need to do so now we can just double click on, on our back file my one starts on admin the, the local server will start to fire up we can go into the daisy launcher just make sure you've got all the mods as a minimum dabs framework and text them plus i also have cf and zombie admin tools go into servers go into the lan server because that's where your local server will be click on join set up the same mods and join then hopefully what will happen over the next few seconds is this will load up and we will be able to play takistan on our local pc and i highly recommend if you've got a pc that can do it it's free to do this you don't have to pay any extra to download daisy server and run it um it doesn't need that many resources either um and it gives you a great opportunity to play single player daisy to install some admin and you can um you can spawn in whatever you like um you can make content and check for mod compatibility um you can get a bit of a head start on your fellow players by exploring areas that are difficult to get to um, all this sort of stuff um, is it's, it's very, it's very, very good. You've just got to stay on top of the updating because the Daisy server doesn't get updated automatically um, in terms of itself, but also the mods. The mods, when they update, always need copying across from the Daisy server, from the from the Daisy folder to the Daisy server. If you don't do that, you'll find that when you fire it up, you get the normal. There's 
the normal errors you'll get will be client client is newer than the server that's a common one which means the server hasn't been updated or you'll say something it'll say something like um, the add-on in the client is newer than the server add-on so which means that that there we go so we're we're in Takistan I can press o, hit free cam toggle God I'll tell you what's, let's make it day fly up and have a look around this desolate landscape which is probably going to go pop in a minute and get incredibly bright there you go dunk that really is an amazing desert landscape right so there we go how to install daisy on your uh, local server many thanks to dabs uh, Inclement Dab, and very many thanks to Site Revenge for bringing this amazing map to, to Daisy. Okay, if you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I will, of course, see you again soon.